Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thilo. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create global color lists. In this tutorial, we will work with the results of the tutorial adding global colors. As task, we want to add two different global color lists. List 1 should consist of the global colors red and blue and a local color green and the global color list 2 should be a gradient between the global colors orange and purple. The description of the global color list 1 should be RBG and the description of list 2 should be orange minus purple. Now let us start. We are already in the colors view of Matrix 5. If you don't know how to switch to the colors view, please have a look at the tutorial adding global colors. And we will start to add our first global color list according to the task. Therefore, we navigate to the plus at the bottom left side. A global color list is created and now we can add the desired global colors. We can perform a click with the left mouse button at the first color of the global color list and we select red according to our task. That means we will work with the global red color. Now we want to add the second color. That should be the global color blue. Therefore we use drag and drop and yeah, drag it at the global color and move it to the left side. In the last step of this task we have to add a local color. That means we click the plus button here on the bottom of the global color lists colors and this color should be changed to green. What we can see now is that the third color has no number but the first two colors have numbers inside. If there is a number inside of a color list that means this is a global color. Respectively, this color is assigned to a global color, which means if you change the global color, it will be changed also in the assigned lists. For the third color, we have to change the description to green. Now we will add a second global color list Therefore, we perform again a click at the plus button on the bottom left side. A new global color list was created and this color list should represent the gradient between the sunrise orange and the sunset purple. Therefore, we can change our view to gradient and now we can add the third color we delete this color and we add the fourth color. We will be able to click at the context menu. In the context menu, we select uniform distances and fade all. This way, we create a nice fade between those two colors. Last step, we want to change the description of our two color lists. The first one should be changed or called RBG. And the second one should be called orange minus purple. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.